We're here to talk about an exciting project that four regional health services are developing in regard to patient journey boards. The patient journey board enables a whole of team access for treatment and planning for discharging and transferring back to regional health services. Today I have um, Ken and Pat with me today and they're consumers and patients from our Warwick Nabil campus. So what did you need to know when you left Wimmer Healthcare Group or Melbourne Hospitals to what come back to us? He was actually leaving yep. the hospital because okay. we had three different times. Yep. Well, he obviously came back to Warwick without them mm. um, and the nurses here kept trying to ring up to get information. It wasn't given back. Mm -hmm. They weren't, they didn't even ring back. It took six weeks to actually find out what the actual infections were. Um, they need to listen to family members because mm -hmm. family members care for the patients. They kept on giving Ken a tablet, two tablets that he was actually allergic to and not giving him one that he was on for so many years. So he was not only having the allergies, but he was also having withdrawals from his. There needs to be some communication with the carers and with the family. Yeah. And I think it's that improvement in communication yep. that basically yeah, sure. you know, will ensure um, you know, best practice, patient safety, you know, and really help yes. the carers um, and the loved ones. And stop the worry. 